Well, as the Israel and Hamas war intensifies, the uh, Israeli Defense Forces carried out cross-border raids in Gaza to obtain info on the abducted Israelis. 306 soldiers have been killed in action so far. Mr. Sanjeev Shivastav, international affairs expert, with us on uh, the broadcast to talk more about this. Mr. Shivastav, well, there are casualties on both sides, and of course, the world needs to understand that uh, even if Israel is, uh, you know, the party that's indulging in this onslaught, they are too losing people. Yes, uh, that is precisely the point, uh, Vineet, uh, you very rightly uh, you know, mentioned this. I know uh, uh, this is a war against uh, terrorism. Uh, this is uh, obviously is not a uh, war against uh, uh, people of Gaza. And uh, uh, this is not uh, a war between Israel and Palestine. This is not, uh, not a war between uh, you know, Arab uh, and Israel. I think uh, uh, so this is a uh, uh, real nature of this uh, conflict and needs to be you know, understood very very properly and uh, it is uh, quite clear that this is the war uh, which has been waged by Israel after a very brutal uh, barbaric assault on them uh, by this terrorist entity Hamas and Israel is uh, well within its right to respond to this uh, challenge and uh, Israel is uh, precisely uh, is, uh, is doing this. Uh, but uh, this, uh, uh, with regard to this uh, UN uh, resolution, uh, we need. I think uh, th this was uh, calling for some humanitarian uh, uh, pause uh, without uh, recognizing the Israel's right to self-defense, and that's where the US objection came. And I think uh, uh, with this kind of uh, maneuvers, uh, which is obviously been backed by uh, China-like countries and uh, uh, and other countries are also uh, supporting it, so there is a, a clear uh, politics uh, which is being played into this entire, you know. Uh, effort uh, of Israel uh, when they have uh, launched a kind of a war against uh, Hamas and uh, attempts are being missed uh, to put a pause on Israeli action which I am sure that Israel is not going to do and, uh, and the United States of America that is why uh, they have used their veto power uh, to, to block this uh, entire Brazil-led uh, you know, resolution. Obviously, China is uh, disappointed because China is uh, attempting to play, play a politics here. And uh, it is uh, very, you know, uh, uh, we need, uh, sad to see that when the world is facing this menace of terrorism in a, in a big way, yet again, then also, you know, countries, some, some countries are attempting to uh, play a politics uh, on this issue and they are also uh, creating a fake narrative uh, in the international community uh, that uh, this is uh, uh, this is a war between Israel and Palestine or uh, Arab and Israel. So I think uh, this is uh, uh, clear, uh, conspiracy is quite clear that the countries, some state or non-state actors, including Hamas, uh, they have you know conspired hard to isolate Israel. They have conspired hard to break the you know normalization process which was going on after the signing of the Abraham Accord between Israel and the Arab nations and this is a deep rooted conspiracy and let me say add here uh, Vineet that uh, this attack on Hama, uh, this hospital uh, which, uh, which could be a part of a deep conspiracy to yet again uh, further isolate Israel uh, when they are uh, going to launch a major offensive again against Hamas and uh, Hamas's uh, terror machine. So I think uh, this uh, fault lines are quite uh, clear and it's very sad to see that uh, when the entire humanity is facing this menace of terrorism and that needs to be combated and, uh, and uh, they must be eliminated such terrorist organizations, still uh, some state actors and non-state actors are uh, attempting to politicize this and they are not taking genuine efforts. So that is why I think it's, uh, uh, Israel has every right to respond to this uh, terrorist organization and uh, there could not be uh, any, any such kind of uh, uh, move where the Israeli actions are halted. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.